in late 2021 everyone watching the news and we all saw the tanks and the soldiers getting ready for invasion and i can tell you that in modern warfare the first battle is always fought on cyber space not on land not on the air and russia had used ukraine in a testing ground for its cyber weapon before as the army gathered we knew a massive cyber attack was also been prepared the plan was to shut down the ukraine power cut their communication and and create a chaos before the first tank even crossed the border so everyone was expecting a huge damaging cyber attack but it never happened the way the story you heard it's about ukraine strong defense Hi guys welcome to the session on coffee with prab and in this particular video we're going to discuss about the case study the clash between the ukraine and russia and how the ukraine has used the us cyber army to defend the attack which is coming from russia you know it started when the ukraine government invited a special team from us cyber command into the country and you have to understand this it was a big deal you know it mean giving a foreign partner access to your most sensitive government computer network and it shows the huge amount of trust between the situation which was so serious you know what the us has sent their team which is called as a hunt forward team now what exactly the hunt forward team imagine a group of special force but instead of having guns their weapons are keyboards their battlefields are computer network and these are not just a tech support they are highly trained military cyber specialists intelligence experts and deep analysts you know their job was not just to help ukraine to build a firewall but they passively wait for an attack and their job was to actively go on a hunt they sat down with the ukraine experts in in capital of ukraine and start looking for the hidden threats they were searching for the harmful computer programs they knew the russia had already planted and these programs were not hidden deep inside ukraine most important systems are basically power companies the bank and the government and they just waiting for a signal to start and and you know what they found was a very worrying situation so together us and ukraine team discovered a several type of malware and that is called as a viper malware let me explain you what is viper malware it is it is different from a normal virus see normal regular virus what happen they steal your information or slow your computer down right but the viper program has only a terrifying purpose what they do they completely gain access and erase everything which is on a computer and it does not steal your file it just destroy them and leaving nothing but empty space and it turns the working computer into the useless box can you imagine among these they found a specific harmful program like a whisper gate and hermetic viper which waiting silently so what is whisper gate whisper gate was designed to look like a ransomware but it is actually wipe the data on the other side hermetic viper was another destructive tool and this carefully placed to hit the keys ukraine organization and these were not just a minor threats they were digital bombs placed and armed waiting to go off you know what this was a huge breakthrough by finding this weapons before the war started they could study them closely can you see that and it was it, it was not like a capturing the enemy missiles you know and figuring out how it works they learn how the malware communicate and what is this called as a digital fingerprint which look like you know they were reading the enemy attacks a plan ahead of a time and then then what happened you know the invasion started as expected the physical attacks came with the digital one a major cyber attack hit the vsat satellites which a network to disrupt the ukraine military communication oh my god you know so the, then the viper program they had found which was activated and aimed at ukraine government and bank you know what this was a big test and this was supposed to be blow that could shut the country down but then what blow never landed the power in ukraine capital which is mostly stay on the bank had a problem they did not collapse the government was kept communicating the ukraine network were able to recover quickly and the reason is that they were prepared the hunt before the invasion had given a critical ahead they start they knew this was coming and they already found many of the threats standing their systems and support from a partner real time and this big digital attacks had failed to achieve its goal but what is what what is that but this is what where the story became a very clever strategic move this is the real power of a proactive cyber defense us cyber command did not keep what they learn in ukraine to themselves they took the digital fingerprints of every piece of russian malware they found and they shared with the world instantly that shows the knowledge awareness right they gave this information to fbi 
there to Ali and to the private companies like Microsoft and Google. Can you imagine Microsoft and Google? And think about what that means. A piece of harmful Russian software found in Ukraine on a particular day was being automatically blocked by the hospital security systems in America, the bank firewalls in London and the government servers in Tokyo by that week. They, the hunt is in one country become a shield for the entire world. So when you think about war in Ukraine, remember this is the unseen battle. It was a story of Ukraine courage of a course, but it is also a story ahead of a new way of fighting. A proactive defensive system that shows that best way to protect your country is help your partner hunt for the threats in there. So it was it was like a moment when cyber defense changed. It proved that group of partners working together and sharing the information quickly and could stand up in a major attacks. And it was a secret cyber shield for Ukraine and it changed the rule of everyone. This is the research what I did and I thought I will share with you guys. I really put a lot of work on this. Do let me know, shall I make more case studies like that in future? And if you want, and if you want to share any feedback, do share in a comment box because without you, I'm nothing. If you're new to the channel, do subscribe to the channel and click on the bell icon to make sure you should not miss my future videos on a similar topic. Thank you so much.